Hello YouTube, my name is Nick, and today I have another episode of my Gun of the Day Team series. Deathmatch. Today I am using the Vector. Um, the Vector is uh, not really my favorite gun. I have to say it's probably my least favorite uh, SMG, and I'm not really a big fan of SMGs, so that's saying a lot. Uh, yeah. So this gun does a maximum damage of 25 and a minimum damage of 20 making it the weakest, yes, weakest gun in the game, uh, and basically uh, this makes it, I think that's uh, three bullets close range and four bullets long range if you're using stopping power, and uh, that's, that's quite a bit. Um, I don't know, I find it's, it's quite difficult to kill people with this gun. I would definitely recommend you use stopping power on this gun, and uh, I'm using Marathon in this game. But uh, I also like using Flight of Hand uh, because th this gun tends to run out of ammo really quickly. It has an extremely high fire rate, so uh, you have to reload quite often, which makes uh, Sleight of Hand quite useful. <laughs> my, my teammate uh, should have died there, but I think the guy who planted that claymore was killed, so lucky for him. Anyways, um, the attachments on this gun, I'm, I, I like using the silencer on SMGs, especially ones I'm not really good with, because uh, it gives me more of the stealth option, and sneak up, I can sneak up behind people. It's also why I like using Marathon, uh, kind of like run around the edge of the map and get behind people, and uh, you know, no matter how bad the gun you're using is, it's uh, not difficult to shoot people in the back, so uh, I'd recommend using Marathon silencer if you're having trouble with this gun, but uh, if you're really not going for something like a gun of the day or a video or something like that, I really wouldn't recommend using it. I have not had much much uh, luck with this gun at all. It's not very effective in my opinion. It's got a really strange recoil to it. I find that it's like always the third bullet. Um, the gun just randomly jumps and your bullet misses and you know you get thrown off a lot. Uh, as you see there, any gun, no matter how bad it is, can kill people from the long range if they are not moving. You just gotta shoot it really slowly, and you will kill somebody. So, any gun's effective long range. And, uh, yeah. Uh, as I said, this is my least favorite SMG. And, um, another problem I found with this gun is that I can only get one kill per clip. I don't know what it is, but it seems that Every kill takes me at least 20 bullets. Like, I have to fire 20 bullets from the clip before I get a kill, usually. Um, just because, you know, I'm not 100% accurate and it's got a weird recoil and um, takes a lot of bullets to kill people, I find. It doesn't really feel like four bullets, even though it is. It feels more like I have to, like, hit people six times. And the range on this thing, like, the, the three bullet kill range is all of three feet. Like, if you're not within knifing range, you're not going to kill them in three bullets. It's just not going to happen. So I find that if I'm in a group of two people, I'm basically screwed. You know, the very very few times I actually make it out alive when there's two guys in front of me. So, I don't know, I can't really find a whole lot of use for this gun compared to so many other options you could have. Like, the UMP does this in every single aspect. You can get way more kills per clip. You can uh, you can rush a lot more. It does. It's more effective close range. It's more effective long range. It's just an all-around better gun. You're gonna run out of ammo with this quicker. Um, the P90 is a way better idea too. It's basically shoots just as fast. It feels only it's got um, I'd say a better recoil to it. Uh, it's a little bit more you know usable, predictable, and um, it's also got a, uh, a bigger clip, and you, you uh, run out of ammo a lot slower when using it, so I'd say that's definitely a better idea. Um, I think the, UM, or the P90 comes next, so I'll be using that tomorrow, try and get a decent score with it. Um, as you can see right now, I'm just you know, running around the map trying to stay close range, because even medium range, this gun's terrible. Uh, and if you get too close and you're in a group, you die. I don't know. This game, or this gun's just not really an effective weapon, in my opinion. 
Um, I'm using UAV this game because, you know, if you're trying to flank the enemy uh, with Marathon and a Silencer, it's a good idea to know where they are. So, uh, using UAV, you can you know, tell where they are and uh, run around behind them. And uh, that death there, I really didn't... Th <laughs> that wasn't fun, I don't know. I was really close and I have an SMG and I think in a situation like that, an SMG should win. Uh, balance wise and realism wise, like the whole knifing situation never made sense to me. You know, some guy's got an automatic weapon pointing at you. You're gonna pull out a knife? Like the gun just like slides out of your sleeve, and uh, you know you drop your gun and you have like an infinite amount of guns in your backpack, but you know you can run out of ammo somehow. You just drop your gun on the ground, pull a knife out of nowhere, and your arm moves at the speed of light to like stab some guy. And not only that, but you never miss the stab, and the stab kills him one hit every time. So that's just like... Then, then, then you try throwing in Commando, where all of a sudden you start teleporting, and, you know, you're, you're moving at the speed of light times ten here. Like, <laughs> this, this isn't even possible. Like, uh, I don't know. See, like, that, that was a legit knife kill. The guy's back, the guy's back is to me, and, uh, you know... I could have killed him with a knife. I can see that happening. Like in Halo, you know, you pull out your knife and assassinate somebody when you're behind them. That makes sense, you know. They're behind you, or you're behind them, you sneak up behind them, and you stab them in the back. That makes sense. But, like, honestly, you shouldn't be able to stab somebody one hit every time. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really on topic with my gun here. Anyways, this gun I don't think is too balanced. I, I hope that uh, Black Ops can do a better job of balancing. I think it needs to be in the, the gun's base damage. I think they need to have more of a spread. Like, I think the MP40 in World at War, even though that's a really unbalanced gun, probably a bad example, but its maximum damage was 45 and its minimum was 10. So it had like a huge spread. So like, it was a beast close range, but its damage dropped to 10 long range, which like, that, that seems kind of fair, although it was a little bit unbalanced. Um, I, I think that they should make gun SMGs really powerful close range and uh, decent medium range, useless long range. But uh, anyways, that's the game. Final score 22 and 3. See you guys later. Bye.